Hey, Sean, my power's out again. Damn hell, Co. First I had to pay to connect it to my house. Then my bill goes up every month. And now I never have power because they always have blackouts. Do you think I could leave a few things in your fridge so they don't go bad? You're on solar, right? Um, I guess so. I got some extra space. Whoa, man. I said I had some space. I didn't say that you could move your whole kitchen in here. I think you need to get your own backup generator, man. But I got you, man. As you probably already know, I live on an off-grid homestead in Hawaii. And what that means is my place is responsible for providing for its own energy needs, its water needs, and God willing, hopefully one day, its food production needs. In a previous video, I showed you the behind the scenes of my off-grid solar setup here at my homestead. Today, I wanted to show off an integral part of that system. I'm talking about the backup generator. And it's something that you should get if you're going off grid like me, or if you're dependent on the system like my neighbor. You see, it's not always sunshine and roses here in Hawaii. It rains a lot. And this is the case in many other climates as well. Even in places where it's sunny a lot, you get a lot of cloudy days. And solar power doesn't really work that well when it's cloudy out. Researchers in the alternative energy industry are looking for ways to solve this problem. But for now, we have to deal with less energy production when the sun's not shining. And that's why we need backup. Because if you're not connected to the grid, you gotta get some power some other way. Or even if you are connected to the grid, you might need a backup in case the power goes out. Some people just use a generator as their main source of power. And if they have solar panels, they'll use the generator as a backup when the solar panels aren't able to produce enough. And for others like me, they'll have a battery system that acts like a backup. And when that battery system gets too low, they kick on the generator to help top those batteries off. Now, which way is better? Batteries use up precious metals and they also don't last very long, but they only need an hour or two to be topped up by a generator. Where on the flip side, if you're getting all your power just from a generator, you're gonna to have to run that thing as long as you need energy. And that uses a lot of gas and produces a lot of noise. But at least you don't have to replace batteries every few years. I prefer the peace of mind of batteries and only needing to run the generator when those batteries need to be topped off. You see, I have a gauge in my house that tells me when it's time to charge the batteries. In the evening, if I notice that this number here gets below 24, I know that the next day I'm gonna to have to plug in the generator and top off those batteries. The one I use is this Honda 2200 watt generator. It's relatively quiet compared to most other generators out there. It comes in at about 47 to 58 decibels, which is quieter than most a normal conversation. Now I bought this generator two years ago, but I had another one before this one that I had for over 18 years. That generator withstood rain, it withstood running out of oil a couple times, it built two houses for me, it was backup power from my house for over 18 years, and it powered my washing machine every time for over eight years. And not once did it fail starting up. And if you're starting a homestead or you're just looking for some backup power supply, you cannot go wrong with this Honda generator. I'll leave a link down in the description below that you can use to get a generator just like this of your very own. And at the same time, help support this channel. Now, it's not a huge generator. It can't power up everything at once, but it can power pretty much everything I need it to. And it's pretty easy to start up. Let me show you. And you can see I'm just talking to you like normal. And it's not very loud. We can hear each other, can we? As I mentioned already, I use it as a backup power source when I run the laundry. But when I do that, I typically charge the batteries at the same time and run the laundry through the house inverter with a generator providing the backup power supply so I don't ruin the batteries. This cord here, when plugged in, goes straight to my charge controller where it is then sent to the batteries to fill up. When I was building the two houses here on my homestead, I would have one plug charging in my cordless battery tools and the other one working the circular saw, chop saw, sander, or any other power tool one at a time. Running two big power tools at a time would break this emergency backup breaker 
because we exceeded the wattage the generator is able to produce. But if that happens, all you have to do is turn the generator off and start it again. But make sure when you do that the gas tank is full and no power plugs are plugged in. The generator does not like being started under load. And if it runs out of gas, that's not good either. That could damage the generator or whatever electrical component is plugged into it. It'll run about 8 to 10 hours off a gallon of gasoline, so I like to check the level before I start the generator every time I use it. The Honda generator has been with me for almost two decades now, always providing the backup power source that I need. Don't overlook this integral component to your off-grid power system. Even if you're not off-grid, you could still use a generator. Use the link in the description below to have a Honda generator delivered straight to your door and help support this channel at the same time. Or if you're not in the market for a new generator, but you do your shopping on Amazon, you can just use the link homesteadinhawaii.com slash Amazon and we'll get a commission for whatever purchase you make. It's a great way to help support all of these videos. Get redundancy into your system. It could be the difference between whether or not you'll have power or not. Do you want to be the one who's asking their neighbor to borrow space in their fridge? Or do you want to have space in their fridge to offer up to their neighbor? Thanks again for watching everybody. Till next time, a wheel. Get yourself a generator.